Hey what's up guys and welcome to another Iron Man episode, so this is going to be a bit of questing in this one and I just completed the Master Barbarian skilling part to be able to complete the Hero's Welcome quest, so let's get into that, but first I'm going to do some other stuff, but we'll get into it soon enough. So Anachronia just got released with the new Dinosaur and Vile Bloom monsters. It also has a new Slayer Master as well. Not sure if you can buy Broad Bolts or Broad Arrow Tips from them separately from the other stores, but if you can, I'm definitely going to be doing this. Otherwise, I'm not really going to do that much on this island as of now, but it's nice to have it. A bit of a milestone level here, I guess. 85 farming, one more level closer to 91 where I can plant fell stocks, which I'm going to be needing for my prayer renewals, I think it is, so that's going to be very useful. And actually another level right off the bat, 91 Fletching, which is going to be one level closer to Ruby Back Criminal Bolts. They're going to be very useful for necks and bossing and all that, and I'm buying broad arrow tips every single day. Picking my first Torstalls, uh, how many am I going to get for the first one? I have my Magic Secretary here for some more herbs. How many is that? Seven herbs, not that bad, but unfortunately I don't have super compost or anything, so I just use normal compost, which means quite a lot of my herbs unfortunately dies. Unfortunately not a level, but a shit ton of dungeoneer experience incoming, 186,000 experience on an extended dungeoneering challenge, trying my best to be efficient on this account now. Unfortunately this Slayer Master actually does share the same shop as another one, I'm not sure which one, but I can't buy more broad arrowheads here unfortunately. I actually feel so lucky, like I just wanted to do this Liska's endgame quest for a shit ton of agility experience and then this event comes out, the summer skilling event, which is basically the most free agility experience ever. I put a counter up here, you can see I'm currently at 1k experience. I'm going to make real good use of this when it's actually up because it's so afk -able. So you guys will see on the counter how much I've gained during the event. So I AFK'd like 173,000 experience in agility, but I'm for sure going to do more. But I just thought I was going to have a break and complete Hero's Welcome quest because I was planning on doing this anyways. So this is going to be that quest completed for some experience and then I'm going to get back to doing some agility training and then I'll do more quests a bit later. But yeah, that's quite a lot of unlocks as well, but most of them are not that useful. But 306 quest points as well, pretty cool. Okay, look at this. I AFK'd 1.4 million agility experience almost from this event. It actually just ended, so that was so good. I mean, that's almost the same amount of experience that I'm going to be getting from the Sliska's endgame on agility. I think it's actually more than that. So I'm really happy that this event actually happened because it's going to make it so much easier for me to get 99 agility. I'm already 85. I'm 350 experience of 86 and I start off as 81. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. Getting my fletching done with quite a lot of broad arrow tips that I've been buying and this is going to be 92 fletching. I'm only one level now off being able to get the bloodwood trees without a boost. That is going to be so nice to use actually. And uh, getting some huge farming experience right here, 80,000 <laughs> farming experience from these Sigmites. So nice to be doing these mushroom runs and getting these now and then for some insane farming experience. But anyways, I'm going to take this out now because it's an elder one and I'm going to sell it. 666 beans, yeah, for sure I'm going to take that. I'm not sure what I'm going to buy with all these beans, but I have almost 1.2k now, so I have quite a lot. Getting some questing done, this is going to be Nomad's Requiem done. Uh, it has some annoying puzzles, other than that, not too bad of a quest actually, I, I thought it was quite enjoyable. And, oh, I got quite a lot of uh, seals for that as well, which I can put in experience, but not going to do that right now, but that is the Nomad's Requiem completed. Also completed Carnelian's Rising. All these quests, by the way, is uh, on the road to completing Sliska's Endgame, and there is quite a lot of quests for that. I actually can't believe I haven't done this quest. The rune memories completed, 300 rune crafting experience. That is some insane experience at this level. Actually huge level incoming, 93 fletching. That means I can actually now without boosting just go into the wilderness or wherever the bloodwood trees are and make the criminal bolts without boosting. And I only have to boost for the ruby tipping. Which is just so much more comfortable, I mean, I only have to boost when I'm at the bank and I only need to boost two levels. So I can now make 700 of these and I'm going to just uh, do this pretty often or as often as I can. And then uh, get quite a lot of these bolts to use at next in the future to get my gear. 
Back to questing again, getting uh, Heart of Stone completed. A very tedious quest. It was a lot of things that just took a very long time, very easy, but as I said, very time consuming. Um, some experience lamps, but because it's quite a low tier quest, the experience is not going to be great. But hey, it's uh, some experience at least, and getting more questing done towards Sliska's endgame. So this will actually be the last quest I will do in this video, just to not get too much questing into one video and making it repetitive. So this is the feud quest completed. Also quite an annoying quest, but mostly just talking to people. So just boring quests rather than annoying maybe. There we go. Uh, I think that was 15k thieving experience. Actually not that bad. I'm actually running kind of low on money and I want to have money to be able to buy broad arrow tips and stuff like that every single day in daily scape. So I just augmented my dragon rider lance and I'm going to be doing some slayer which is also going to give me charms which I really want to get that 99 summoning now that I'm so close to it. So I'm actually going to use the new slayer master at Anachronia but I have no idea how good she is. But if you guys know then you can let me know in the comments. Pretty nice invention level coming in here, 82 invention from a siphon. I, these legs were already level 12 so some free invention experience already there. My first vile bloom task, interesting. I'm going to have to kill lamp and floras for this. So it's actually the perfect Araxor path right now so I'm going to do just a couple of kills for one reckless aura. So this is the first kill. I'm by the way using the ruby black criminal bolts now and they seem to be doing pretty good. Let's see what the first loot's going to be. Yeah, not that great, but the charms is definitely definitely what I want. By the way, I'm not really using the armadillo book. I have it equipped for the stats, but I actually only use it for when I actually get to 50%, so I can burst it down for the last HP. But let's see what the second loot is going to be. Uh, I can probably do like six kills in this uh, one hour, by the way. Oh, Triskillion Fragment 3, so that means I can get a free Elite Clue Scroll and some other loot as well. Actually so unlucky, look at this, system update in 30 minutes and my aura is 39 minutes. Well, I'm going to have to at least get 3 more kills in I think, so the loot is... I thought I was a spider leg piece, I got baited. I should have perfect time to do 2 more kills after this one, so let's get a leg piece. Ooh, 2 Siren Escapes and actually 2 Overloads as well, that is really good, I'm running really low on Overloads. Okay, 12 minutes left, so let's get a leg beast in these two last kills, and uh, okay, that is the worst loot ever. Nice, three minutes left, so let's get a leg beast on this last loot of Arax, or here we go. Okay, <laughs> as far from it as you could get. A Draconic Visage from Rune Dragon Task, that is 450k Alex, so definitely great, because money is what I'm here for mostly. Actually not a level, but very close to 83 invention, incoming 621,000 experience and I need just about 700,000, so that is very close, 76,000 experience left. But I also got a Lost Grove Creatures uh, Slayer task, 101, so I'm going to kill Vine Crawlers and I'm going to kill them when ranged. Never killed them before, so this is going to be pretty interesting to see what the loot is. So I'm gonna have to say that I do kind of like the drops from these creatures, they're pretty good. I mean, look at the Mochella mushrooms that I get, and especially the Lanta Dimes, I really like those two drops. But I don't think that uh, for the effort of killing them, which was like three trips, I think, with this gear, I had to restock on food and stuff like that, it's worth it. Um, I think the only reason to really kill this, if I really wanted to get them, is the high tier gloves. I think it's ranged gloves that you get. I don't actually remember the names of them, something with Cinder I think. But other than that, they are by the way a 1.5k drop on Slayer task. So not insanely rare, but not that common either. But other than that, I don't think they're that great to kill, except, as I said, for the Lantadimes. So I've got like one hour left of charge on my invention, and that means I'm going to have to get more energy soon. And this is the current stuff that I've got that I have to alk from the Slayer assignments I've got. Quite a lot of these rune salvages right here and right here. And then the Draconic Visage and some dragon stuff from the rune dragons. And the charms is uh, 400 crimsons and almost 300 blue. So that's quite a lot of summoning experience right there. So I'm going to actually end the video right here and uh, I'm going to in the next video keep doing Slayer and then get 99 summoning and also I'm going to keep working on Sliska's endgame and get as close to it as possible if not even completed in the next video we will see about that and get some more money so that I can keep buying these broad arrow tips and stuff like that so yeah quite a lot of progress in this video and I will keep on progressing on RS3 as much as I can because I really want to get max as soon as possible even though it's quite 
a lot left, but definitely possible to do. So anyways, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.